Hello, it's been a long time since I've done a video actually, I'm not quite sure why, just kind of got out of the funk of doing them and it sometimes takes a bit of time to get back into doing them I guess. Um, but I'm back to share a little bit of crochet love today. So for anyone who saw me at Blog On um, up at Manchester, the Museum of Science and Industry, back in um, May, wasn't it, early May, um, I was there with my nice bit of crochet, which I took along to go and show off to the people from Black Sheep. Now, the reason I was showing it off to them is this is the second of the Spice of Life crochet alongs that I've done. So these were designed by Sandra from Cherry Heart, um, and this is the second colourway. So Sandra did the first colourway, and then Sarah from Black Sheep herself did the second one. So this is done with Stylecraft DK yarn, um, and it's just so utterly gorgeous, I just thought I needed to show it off, really. So here we go, one finished, it's huge, blanket. So absolutely love making this. Border, bit of a faff, don't like crocheting borders. Um, but the rest of it, it's the pattern for this is so wonderful and it's really descriptive and you don't need to really, well you need to be able to do a bit of crochet but you don't need to be able to do much. I started off just knowing how to do treble stitches and I've now managed two of these blankets. There's a wonderful array of different stitches in there as you can see, you've sort of got these shell bits here, which are always a little bit tricky, actually. Um, but for those, you just use a slightly bigger hook size when you're doing them so you don't get your tension all wrong. There's grannies in there. There's some things like tulip stitches. Um, there's a bit that she calls the big zipper, which kind of zigzags along and everything. But it's just utterly lovely. And the colourway as well, as I say, this is with Stylecraft Special DK. You can buy the pack from Black Sheep themselves. It's available on their website. Um, or you could obviously buy all the balls separately or you could mix up all the colours, do it any way you want. I've seen a few variants of this as well where um, some people have done it all in one colour, so all in cream, which gives it a beautiful antique vintage style look. Or you can just have the mix of colours, which I just think is fantastic. So there you go, that's my little crafty crochet show-off for today. Um, and we should be back with some more videos soon, I hope. Take care, bye!